I think the field of forensic DNA analysis is evolving and growing, and in fact, it's incorporating aspects of data analytics. We've all heard of data analytics. We're starting to use whole genome information now to garner information about potential suspects' crime scene samples. So nowadays, we can tell the sex of uh, a person, the race of a person, and actual physical attributes of a person. Just from a crime scene sample, you can figure out the hair color, the person who left the sample, eye color, race, uh, ethnicities, even potentially geographic graphical information about where that person grew up. PCIT's DNA laboratory actually achieved its own accreditation this past summer through the Standards Council of Canada. We've achieved the same accreditation as the RCMP Forensic Laboratory. It's actually equivalent to the laboratory accreditation that the FBI would have or any large government or private laboratory. What we're proud of is that we're currently the only academic-based uh, forensic DNA lab in the country that's achieved this level of accreditation. Our faculty who are recognized DNA experts bring that expertise into the classroom. They bring real life case examples that they may have worked on last week into the classroom. It also means that we can embed students in a carefully controlled manner, but in an operational forensic DNA lab for the next generation of forensic scientists. see our graduates working in all sorts of fascinating careers. They could be police officers that are working in any of the specialty units, including the crime scene, different investigation units. Our graduates are forensic nurses. Our graduates are working in areas of cybersecurity and in forensic DNA laboratories. So as you can see, there's a wide range of different applied uh, career paths you can take uh, at BCIT and in the Forensic Science uh, Technology Program, from uh, cybersecurity to forensic health to uh, intelligence analysis, policing, and many more. Thank you.